Knees can be bent. So we can extend those legs out long into corpse. Just letting the backside show your body. Just surrender. Just feeling the weight of your body release down. Softening through your face and your jaw. Let's take that long body scan. So from the top of your head, let's work our way down. And just tapping into the body, tap into the breath. And with each inhale and exhale, as you move and scan down through your body, just releasing each area, the back side of the shoulders, the ribs, the hips, and just continuing to work down through your arms and your legs. And all the way down through those fingers and toes. So you just feel that release and softness in your body. Allowing the belly to rise and fall with the breath. Breathing in. Breathing out. As you release through that mind center, letting go the chatter, the distractions. Remember, we cultivate that mindfulness when we become aware. Aware when the mind drifts away. When it drifts away from our breath, we're being present. And know that it will wander, that we never may ever have just that clear mind. But when you recognize that the breath becomes off or the mind wanders, just draw yourself back. We focus on the breath. If you would like to set an intention, something just to bring that mind back to when it drifts away. And sometimes that's just us saying something to ourselves. It's a little reminder, a, rem a mantra. Maybe we're thinking of someone else that's in need or needs a little extra attention or prayer. Taking a deep breath in and deeper breath out. Inhale, belly rises. Exhale, belly fall. And a few more rounds of breath here. And just staying present. Deep inhale. Letting go as you exhale. Slowly bring movement through fingers and toes. Okay, circling through your wrists or your ankles. Let's take an inhale, extending those arms over your head. Take a long body stretch. Let the back arch as you inhale. Exhale, melt the back side of the body down to your mat as you exhale. 
we'll keep those arms extended as we slide the arms over to the right. We'll slide those legs over to the right. Coming into that banana asana. The bend through the elbows, just letting the arms straight over your head. Getting to open up through the side of the body. So breathe into your ribs, your hip, your leg. With a deep inhale. And exhale. With two more rounds of breath here, breathing in. Exhale, breathing out. And after that exhale, we'll slowly move the arms and legs back to the center of the mat. Take that long body stretch again. Inhale, reach fingers to toes. Exhale, sliding arms and legs over to the left side of the mat. Just readjusting your body. Remember, letting the back of the shoulders, the hips, just melting into your mat as you breathe into those ribs and the hip, down through your legs. With a deep breath in and deeper breath out. Two more rounds of breath here, inhale. Letting go as you exhale. <laughs> One more round of breath. And after that exhale, let's bring those arms and legs back to the center of the mat. Take that long body stretch one more time. Inhale. Let it go as you exhale. Arms releasing to your sides. On that next inhale, let's draw that right knee into the chest. Give it a great big hug. We'll draw some circles around the knee through the hip, releasing it out. And as we hug the knee all the way into the chest, take an inhale, let's draw that forehead up to the knee. You can even hover that left leg up off the mat. With an exhale, release your head and your leg back down. We'll bring that right sole of the foot down to the mat and then just let it open. So we're coming into tree on our backs. So right sole of the foot, it can be down towards your ankle, can be up towards that knee or all the way to that inner thigh. Just gently beginning to open up through the hip and the groin. Take a deep inhale. And exhale. Maybe guiding the hand, using the hand to guide that knee up towards center. We'll slide that left foot up onto the mat. So both knees now towards the ceiling. We'll walk those feet in slightly closer to our seat. Arms still to your sides. We'll inhale, slowly peel up and away to a little baby bridge. And with an exhale, let's just melt that spine right back down. Again, inhale, peel those hips up and away. Exhale, melting that spine back down. One more here, inhale to peel up. Exhale, melting your spine back down. Sliding your right leg out long onto your mat. We'll draw that left knee into the chest. Give it a hug. Drawing some circles around with that knee in through the hip. Let's release it out. And as you hug your knee all the way back into the chest, take an inhale, draw that forehead up towards your knee. You can also hover that right leg up as well. We'll take a deep breath in. Exhale, release your head and the leg back down to your mat. Releasing that left foot to your mat. 
Letting that knee open now. For tree on your back. So remember, foot can be at the ankle towards the knee or all the way to that inner thigh. Opening up through the hip and the groin. Take a deep breath in. Deeper breath out. One more round of breath here. Inhale. Let it go. Exhale. Using your hand, we'll draw that knee back through center. Sliding your right foot back onto your mat. So both knees up towards the ceiling. And now as we bring both soles of your feet together, open those knees wide, recline butterfly. So maybe a gentle arching of your spine if that's needed. But just melting the back side of your ribs down. And that breath moving through those inner thighs now. So using your breath, just let those knees open without force. A deep inhale and exhale. One more round of breath, breathing in. Exhale to breathe out. Using your hands, we'll draw those knees back through center. Hugging those knees both now into your chest. Great big hug. Take that little rock from side to side. Or draw some circles around, massaging out that lower back. And as you slowly now make your way over to your right or left side, fetal pose. Cradling the head with that bottom arm. Take a deep inhale. And exhale. And now as you use your hands for support, slowly bring yourself up. We're gonna find a comfortable, easy seat. So whether legs are extended or crossed, let's find those sit bones. Sitting up nice and tall, lift up through the crown of your head. Hands resting in the lap or on those knees. Let's close those eyes back down. Let's just tap in again to the breath. Allowing that breath now to originate from below your belly. And so as it rises up through the ribs and your chest, expanding across your heart, top of the shoulders. Take a deep inhale. Let it go, exhale. Releasing those arms down to your sides. We'll inhale, sweep them up over your head, palms to touch. Exhale, hands to heart center. Take a deep breath in. Deeper breath out. And keeping those eyes closed or slowly begin to flutter them open. Let's inhale, sweep the arms up over your head. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, let's reach and back up. Exhale, hands to heart. This time as we inhale, let's sweep the arms up over the head. As we interlace those hands, send those palms up, relax those shoulders down, soften through the elbow. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, send your palms forward, round your spine, exhale. Inhale to send the palms right back up. Exhale to round forward. So big letter C with the body. One more time. Inhale, send the palms up. Exhale to round forward. With an inhale, we'll send those palms back up. Exhale, release that right palm down, left arm over, side stretch over to the right. And just gently send that left hip down. Whether the gaze stays down or up towards the arm. Take a deep breath in. Deeper breath out. 
Inhale, sweeping that right arm up. Exhale, left palm down, right arm reaches over. And we'll gently send that right hip down towards the mat. Again with the gaze yours, maybe it's down or up towards your arm. Take a deep inhale. Reach a little further, exhale. Inhale, let's sweep that left arm up. Exhale, hands to heart center. We're gonna release those hands down in front. Take a slow walk forward as we find that fold. Rounding the spine, let that head bow. So once we find that stopping point, just allow your bodies to be wherever they are. Let's soften through the back of the neck, the shoulders. As we breathe down into those hips and the legs. Take a deep breath in. Deeper breath out. One more round of breath here, inhale. Folding over, exhale. We'll slowly walk those hands back in, lifting up tall through the crown. If the legs are crossed, let's just switch them out. So crossing that opposite leg in front. Make any little adjustments here to refine those sit bones. And with an inhale, we'll sweep those arms up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, sweep those arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. With this inhale, sweep those arms up. We're gonna take that left hand to the right knee. Take that little twist over to the right. Sitting up nice and tall as you inhale. Finding that twist on your exhale. So breathe through the belly. With that breath coiling up the spine. And peeking over that shoulder. With a deep inhale. Twisting a little further, exhale. With the inhale, we'll sweep the arms back over your head, coming through center. And then exhale, right palm, left knee. Let's twist over to the left. With an inhale, sitting up tall. Exhale, finding your twist. And continuing to breathe through your belly. Maybe peeking over that shoulder. Deep breath in. Deeper breath out. And with that inhale, sweep the arms back up over your head. Come back through center. Let the palms touch. Exhale, hands to heart. Releasing the hands back down in front. Let's take that little fold forward. Slowly walking it forward. Allow your, your spine to round the head to bow. Again, just finding that stopping point. And then as you release into that upper body, sending that breath down into your lower body. Breathing in, breathing out. Two more rounds of breath, inhale. Letting go as you exhale. After that last round of breath, we'll slowly walk those hands back in towards your legs, sitting up nice and tall. We'll uncross the legs, bring the soles of your feet to the mat, knees to the sky. Let's bring those hands down next to the hips. Press into your mat. Inhale, lift that heart center up. With the gaze traveling up or all the way back, open up your throat. Take a deep breath in. Deeper breath out. And as we slowly lift the head and the body up, let's slide those legs out long in front into stack pose. 
Soft bend through the knees. We'll inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, seated forward fold. Rounding through the spine again, or you can lead with that heart with a nice long spine. Just finding that hinge and then let that upper body release. As we breathe into the back side of the legs, upper body just releasing over. So let that head go. With the feet flexed or soft, just depending on how we feel in the legs today. With a deep breath in, deeper breath out. One more round of breath here, inhale. Let it go, exhale. As we slowly peel that body all the way back up, we'll slide the soles of the feet back to the mat, hands to the hips. Pressing down, inhale, lift that heart up. With the gaze traveling up, and this time if you want a little more, press into your feet, lift those hips up, reverse table. Remember the gaze can be down at that belly or up or all the way back. Take a deep breath in. Deeper breath out. If those hips are lifted, we're going to slowly lower them all the way back down. And then we'll all lift the head and the body up. As we take the legs now around to the side of the mat, let's make our way up into table. As we stack the shoulders over the wrist, knees will come in underneath those hips. Let's find our rounds of cow and cat. So inhale, release the belly, gazing up for cow. Exhale, chin to chest, arch that spine up into cat. Inhale, belly releases, gaze travels up. Exhale, chin to chest, arch your spine up into cat. As you continue to move at your own pace and with your own breath, just breathe into the front and back side of your body. Breathing in. Breathing out. Making our way into one more full round of breath. Inhale to cow. And as you exhale, find your cat. Really press away from your mat. Tuck that chin in. Hug that belly in. Maybe rise all the way up onto those finger pads. Find that little Halloween scary pad. As you slowly release back down to your palms, to table. Let's walk those hands out slightly in front. Lowering down onto the forearms. So we find our puppy dog pose. Melting that heart down. Hips will stay over those knees as the forehead comes down to your mat. With the arms in close to your body, or you can walk them out further away, up to you. With a deep breath in, deeper breath out. One more round of breath here, inhale. Letting go as you exhale. We'll pick up our head, gaze to the top of the mat. Let's slide our bodies forward, come all the way to the belly. Finding our sphinx pose, so we'll swim that heart up. Shoulders over those elbows. Press into the top sides of your feet. Take a deep breath in. Deeper breath out. One more inhale. Exhale, slowly lower all the way back down to your mat. Exhale. Take a deep breath in. Let it go as you breathe out. Coming back up to Sphinx one more time. So let's come back up to the forearms, elbows, underneath those shoulders. 
And so we have that option to stay here in the Sphinx. We'll add a little variation as we slide that right knee out to the side of the hip, so into a half frog. So we kind of have a double animal going on here, sphinx and a frog. So just guide that heart forward, still breathe into your hip. If we feel anything happening in that lower back, straighten that leg back out. Take a deep breath in, deeper breath out. Just one more inhale. As you exhale, let's bring that right leg back onto the mat. And with that inhale, we'll slide that left knee out to the side of the mat. So finding that half frog on the other side. As we still actively press away from our mat with the hands and the forearms. Breathing into that left inner thigh, the hip. Deep breath in, and deeper breath out. As we take one more round of breath, inhale. On your exhale, let's release that left leg back to the mat. As you slowly lower down all the way to the belly. We'll slide those hands in next to the chest. Pressing up, inhale through table, round through the spine. We're coming all the way back to child's pose. We'll open those knees wide, resting that forehead down. Take a deep breath in, deeper breath out. So breathing down your spine, to your hips, your lower back. Breathing in, breathing out. Just one more round of breath. Inhale, we'll slowly travel back up into table. Walk those knees in. Taking an inhale, let's slide those right toes to the back of the mat. Press back through that heel. Nice long stretch down the leg. As we slowly begin to float that right leg up. Staying there, lifting that left arm spinal down. So finding that long line from the fingers all the way down through the foot. Pressing away from your mat, belly engaged. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, release your hand and knee back to the mat. With an inhale, slide the left toes back, press up through that heel, get that nice long stretch. Down that leg. As we slowly begin to float that left leg up, staying there, or right arm lifts, spinal valley. Reaching in opposition here. So bringing length to our spine, belly up and in. Take a deep inhale, reach a little further. Exhale, release your hand and knee down to your mat as we take a cow and cat. Breathe in. Exhale, breathe out. We'll add on just a little bit here. So coming back through table. This time, inhale, just send that right leg up and back. Lift that left arm up, spinal balance. Find that long line. Take a deep breath in, deeper breath out. This time as we slowly release just the left hand down, bend up that right knee, we're gonna reach the sole of the foot up. And now as we fan that right knee out, let's take some circles around again through that hip. And reverse it, other way. And we're going to extend that right leg out to the side. Release your toes down. I'm going to face around to see you guys. So toes are down. We're going to walk our hands up to the knee. Come all the way up into gate. Good. Inhale. Let's sweep those arms up. 
Exhale, slide that right hand down, left arm over, side stretch here. So remember, you are still stacking the shoulders and the hips. Take a deep breath in. Reach a little further, breathe out. Inhale, sweep that right arm up. Exhale, left palm down, right fingertips reach up. So we can stay here. If you want that balance, float that straight leg up. Maybe just opening that body up a little further. Or you can always bend the knee, reach back for the foot. A little bit of a stretch into the shoulder or to the front part of the leg. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out. That top leg is up, we're gonna slowly lower it down. Press into your left palm, come all the way up into gate. Relax those arms down. We're gonna bring the hands down in front. And then we're gonna slowly sit back on to that heel into a variation of child's pose. Don't worry if the forehead or the hip doesn't go all the way back, no big deal. Find that breath here, breathe into your body. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out. We'll inhale, come all the way back up. We're gonna engage through that belly. Now as we pick up that right leg, Sweep it back behind and release that knee down to your mat. Take a cow and cat here, inhale. Chin to chest, arch your spine up, exhale. Releasing back to table. And inhale now, sending that left leg up and back. Right arm can reach forward, spinal balance. Tucking that belly up and in. Take an inhale, find a little bit more length. Exhale, release that right palm down to your mat. As we bend up that left foot, reach it up. Fan that knee out to the side. We'll take some circles around through that hip. And reverse other way. And now as you extend that left leg out to the side, we're gonna float those toes down to the mat or floor. Walk your hands into that knee, come all the way back up into gate. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, left hand slides down the leg, right arm reaches over. Stack those shoulders, stack those hips. Take a deep breath in, reach a little further, breathe out. Inhale, sweep that left arm up. Exhale, right palm down, left fingertips reach up. So again, stay here, you can float that top leg up. You can bend the knee, reach back for the foot, take a little around the world. Lots of options, find what just feels good. Get that stretch in your body. With one more round of breath here, inhale. Letting go as you exhale. So if that top leg is up, let's lower it back down. Pressing into the palm, we'll lift all the way back up. Relax your arm down. Let's bring those hands out, down in front. And as we sit back onto that heel, that variation of child's pose. And just breathing into that inner thigh. Take a deep breath in, deeper breath out. Inhale, slowly coming back up. And we're gonna engage through that belly. Let's pick up that left leg. Sweep it back behind you. And then lower that knee down to your mat to table. Cow and cat, breathe in. 
Exhale, breathe out. And as we inhale, tuck those toes under. Exhale, lift those hips up and back. Downward facing dog. As you take a little walk of your dog, a little nod through the head, knowing yes. A deep breath in, deeper breath out. One more round of breath here, inhale. As you exhale, slowly lowering your heels down to your mat. With an inhale, rise up to feet toes. Exhale, bend the knees, gaze forward. Let's take a little walk to the top of the mat to forward fold. So we hinge from the hips, release that crown of your head down. With a nod through the head, knowing yes, a sway in the body from side to side. Hands can be at opposite elbows or down towards your mat. Take a deep inhale, folding over, exhale. If arms are folded, let's slowly release the hands down to the mat. We'll walk our hands up to the shins for a halfway lift. Exhale, back to forward fold. Pressing into those feet, slowly rise, peel that body up. We'll sweep those arms out, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart, mountain. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Inhale, we rise. Let's come all the way back up. Sweep the arms out, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart, mountain. One more time through. Inhale to reach up. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Halfway lift, breathe in. Forward fold, breathe out. Inhale to rise. We'll come all the way back up. Sweep the arms out, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart, mountain. And then now as we find our trees, we'll root down through that right foot. Fan that left knee open. And remember, we can take the ankle, the calf, or up to that inner thigh. Maybe holding on to something. Or just rooting down through the foot. Lift up through the crown of your head. Branches can grow. A deep breath in. Deeper breath out. One more inhale. Releasing those arms and legs out. Exhale, shake it out. Wiggle, jiggle. And as we switch to the opposite side, let's root down through that left foot. Fan that right knee out. So whether we're on the ankle, the calf, or to that inner thigh. Again, arms are yours. We'll find that focal point of so something to gaze at. Down on the floor or up, forward or on the ceiling. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out. Just one more round of breath here, inhale. We'll exhale, slowly release the arms and legs out. Wiggle, jiggle, let it go. So let's inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Halfway lift, breathe in. Forward fold, breathe out. As the hands find the mat, let's walk those feet back to downward facing dog. You can walk it out or find that stillness. Take a deep breath in. Deeper breath out. With one more round of breath here, inhale. 
Letting go, exhale. Inhale, we shift forward into high plank, releasing those knees down, or they can stay straight. We'll take a deep inhale, staying here, or as we take that flow, exhale, bend the elbows, lower all the way down, exhale. Inhale, peeling up cobra, or up dog. Exhale, pressing up, and back to downward facing dog. So moving through those knees or not, honoring your practice, we'll take a deep breath in, deeper breath out. Again, inhale, shift forward, high plank. So if you want to work on that strength, stay high plank, it's okay to bring those knees down, you still have all the same benefits here. Let's take a deep inhale. We're going to bend those elbows, lower all the way down. Let's come all the way to the belly this time as we lower to the mat. And just pressing the top sides of your feet into the mat once you're there. Let's bring those hands out in front as we stack one palm on top of the other. Forehead to rest down. And now as we bend the knees, reach the soles of the feet up. We'll walk those knees out wider. We'll bring the soles of our feet together. As we start to lower those feet down towards the mat. Finding that full modified frog now. Breathe into those inner thighs. Any wrapping sensation you feel in the outer part of the hip. A deep breath in, deeper breath out. So take one more full round of breath, inhale. Letting go as you exhale. Releasing those feet down towards your mat, the legs can go wide. Start to rock those legs back onto the mat. We'll walk those hands in next to the chest. Inhale, press up through table. Round through the spine. Let's sit it all the way back. Child pose. Releasing forehead to mat, hips to heel. Deep breath in. Deeper breath out. One more round of breath here. Inhale. And exhale. On an inhale, slowly coming back through table. Walking those knees in this time as we side, side saddle. Let's sit to one side or the other. We'll sweep those legs back around in front. Make sure you're centered this time. On your mat, extend the legs out just to get that gauge. You bring your heels to the very top edge of your mat. It's usually a good in, kind of a good ruler. Good. And then we're going to walk those feet up onto the mat, knees to the sky. Let's bring the hands either down next to the hips or behind the knees. We'll just take a little boat. All right, so sit up nice and tall. We can start to float those toes up. Lengthen tall through the crown. Hands can go behind the knees. Good. If you need that challenge, arms or hands can reach forward. Breathe into your belly. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. One more inhale. Draw those knees in as you exhale, release those feet down, sit up nice and tall, inhale. We'll reach those hands forward, and on that exhale, let's tuck the tailbone, start to lower down to the mat. So using that control through the belly, just slowly lower. And once we come all the way down to the mat, extend those legs out, arms reach up over your head, long body stretch. 
Take a deep breath in. Let it go, breathe out. We'll start to draw those knees back into the chest. Give yourself a hug, a rock from side to side. Releasing your left foot down to the mat, hugging that right knee into chest. As we start to cross the right ankle over the left knee, reclined pigeon, we'll fan that right knee open. So left foot to mat, left knee towards your chest, our left leg extending up. Let's breathe into that hip. Flexing your feet. Breathe into that hip. Take a deep breath in. Deeper breath out. We'll take a few more rounds of breath. Find that release in through your hip. Softening that upper body down to your mat. Take a deep inhale. Let it go, exhale. With one more round of breath here. And so if that left foot is up, let's slowly release it down to the mat. We'll hug that right knee back into the chest. And then we're just gonna draw that knee out towards the side of the body and up towards that shoulder. As we start to send that right foot up towards the ceiling, hand can release to behind the knee or to the outer part of the foot for that half joyful baby. Take a deep breath in, deeper breath out. That next inhale, we're gonna straighten up that right leg. If you need to release the hand from the foot, no big deal. And then as you exhale, we'll draw that knee back down. Or if you can keep your hand on the foot, inhale, right leg straightens. Exhale, bend that knee, draw it down. One more time, inhale, right leg straightens. Exhale, bend the knee, draw it down. And as we draw the knee all the way back into the chest, give it a hug. As we start to just cross now that right knee over all the way to the left. Extending those arms out to a T, take an inhale. Let's let the knees drift over to the left side of the mat. Exhale, find that twist. A little bit deeper twist here. So if you need to uncross the leg and just gently stack the knees, that's fine too. And as we breathe into the belly, to the hip and lower back, A deep breath in, deeper breath out. One more inhale, twisting a little deeper exhale. And we'll guide those knees back through center. I'm crossing that right knee, just releasing the foot to the mat. Inhale, draw that left knee into your chest, give it a hug. Crossing the left ankle over the right knee now, fan that left knee open, reclined pigeon. So staying there, we're drawing that right knee up in towards your chest. Wherever we are on this side, make any small adjustments. 
as we breathe into that left hip. Take a deep breath in, deeper breath out. As that upper body surrenders down into your mat. As the breath travels down through the hip. Finding that release. So notice how the breath feels here. Really truly getting those deep inhales and exhales. So notice how you're breathing. Deep breath in, deeper breath out. For two more rounds of breath, inhale. Letting it go as you exhale. One more round of breath. And so if that right foot is up, let's slowly release it back to the mat. Drawing that left knee up in towards your chest. And as we guide the knee out towards the left side of the mat and up towards that shoulder, take a deep breath in, deep breath out. Now sending that left foot up towards the ceiling hand behind the knee or again reaching for the outer part of the foot that half joyful baby. Again, just breathing in through those hips, taking a deep inhale and exhale. Let's add that movement on. So inhale, left leg extends up. Exhale, bending back into the knee. Inhale, left leg straighten. Exhale, left knee bends, draw it down. One more time, inhale, left leg straightens. Exhale, left knee bends, draw it back down. And as we draw the knee all the way back into the chest, now crossing that left knee all the way over on top of the right knee. Extending those arms out with a deep breath in. Exhale with those knees travel over to the right side of your mat, taking that twist. So again, if this doesn't feel good to you, just uncross the legs, gently stack the knees instead. Take a deep breath in. Deeper breath out. Breathe into that belly, to the hip, your lower back. The deep breath in, deeper breath out. One more round of breath here, inhale. Little deeper twist as you exhale. So they will draw those knees back towards the chest. And crossing that left leg, both knees draw up into your chest. Great big hug, a rock from side to side, or draw some circles around with the knees. And as we sweep those hands behind the legs, extending those legs up, or legs up the wall with a point and flex through your foot or circling through your ankles. You can go back to a full, happy or joyful baby as well, if you prefer that. Or if you do need a little bit more in your practice, a shoulder stand or plow. As we find that inversion, the deep breath in and deeper breath out. One more round of breath, inhale. Releasing knees back to your chest as you exhale. 
Inhale, forehead, let's curl up to the knees, up into that little ball, breathing in. And as you exhale, release your head down. Bring the soles of your feet down to the mat. And as we bring the soles of our feet together, open those knees up for a reclined butterfly. Allowing those arms to release to your sides. And the arms coming out away from the body. Closing down the eyes if they're not already. And staying here for a few rounds of breath. And just whenever you're ready, the legs can extend out into corpse. Or they can stay in butterfly for your Shavasana up to you. Just want you to be nice and comfortable wherever you are. As we start to just allow that breath to release back to that normal state. Letting it fluidly move through the body. And feeling the back side of your body releasing down. And as you feel that rise and fall of the belly with the breath. Just simply observing. So staying here in your butterfly or extending those legs out. As you begin to surrender and let go. Letting your mind drift away. Just finding that place that brings you peace and happiness. Just allow yourself to be and truly letting go.
as you slowly begin to deepen the breath with deep inhales and exhales. Feeling the rise and fall of your belly, the breath. A wiggle of fingers and toe, gently awakening. Circling through your wrists or ankles. Or extending those arms over your head for a long good morning stretch with a deep inhale. Sigh it out, let it go, exhale. And as those knees slowly draw back in towards your chest, making your way over to your right or left side, fetal. Again, just cradling the head, the bottom arm, and drawing the knees towards your chest. Taking a deep breath in, deeper breath out. Using your hands for support to slowly bring yourself up to find a comfortable, easy seat. We'll allow those eyes to be closed and the hands to rest in the lap or on those knees. Again, just sitting up nice and tall, lift up through the heart with shoulders resting down and back. Taking a deep inhale, sigh it out, let it go, exhale. Deep breath in, deeper breath out. Inhale. Exhale. Sweeping those arms up over your head, palms to touch. We'll guide those thumbs down to our third eye center for peaceful thoughts. To our lips for peaceful words. And to our hearts for peaceful actions. And so as we lift our hearts and we bow our chin with gratitude to each and every one of you, thank you for joining me today. You have a great rest of your day, your evening. May your week ahead be full of happiness and joy. May you be kept well and safe. So in honor of one another, together we say, Namaste. Thank you. Thanks, Yvette.